Hi folks, Doc Jake from Sioux Nation Ag Center here. You know, we're getting to that time of year when we think about weaning calves. And an important part of weaning calves is nutrition. Let's face it, these calves have had an ample supply of milk for their entire life. So how are we gonna feed them when milk is no longer in the picture? So when we're starting calves, it's really good to have either green grass or good old fashioned prairie hay. However, this should not be the sole source of food in their diet. The reason is these feeds do not have enough energy in them for the calf to be able to overcome the challenges that they're going to have happen when they're being weaned. Any sort of an immune response requires energy. If we don't have that energy to feed the immune system, the immune system can't respond very well. This means it's very important that we get concentrates in the calf's diet as soon as possible. Now concentrates can come in many forms. Think of things like corn, oats, distiller's grains, or a commercial pellet. What these products do is they have a higher energy level, which lets us get the energy into these calves that they need in order to have an adequate immune response. Now you may have a concern about the calf having too much of, let's say, corn in particular, which may lead to acidosis. The thing is, is that if we feed these calves appropriately, that's really not a big concern especially in a starter ration. What you'll wanna do is make sure these calves have adequate bunk space. So when they go up to the bunk, they can all go up to the bunk at once and eat just their portion, not their buddy's portion because he can't get to the bunk. Now, another reason we wanna make sure we have adequate bunk space is because when we have adequate bunk space so all the calves can come up and eat at once, we can identify calves that are hanging back because they're sick. We want to be able to know which calves are sick so we can treat them sooner. We'll have a higher level of success in our treatment if we can identify those calves quickly. That's why bunk space is really important when we're looking at weaning calves. One more caveat with starting calves. I would stay away from silage in a starter ration if at all possible. Calves usually don't take the silage the best and we want to make sure that they eat really well when they're weaned so they get the energy they need to have an adequate immune response. Hmm, oats, little distillers, maybe some ground corn, better have some mineral in there. Oh, cubes, good idea. Oh, naturally, need a little bit of hay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I always need water. Hmm, let's see. Made it with pineapple? Doc, do you have somebody that can help me build a proper ration? That's a great question, Generic Rancher Ron. And if you have any questions at all about how to put a ration together, that's what the folks at Sioux Nation Ag Center are for. Our nutritionists can put a ration together for you that gets the calves enough protein, enough energy, and is cost effective so that those calves can grow, stay healthy, and make you money, which always is critical to feeding that bottom line. I want the angle of these bales to exhibit how hilly it is here for the audience. See, this camera isn't sideways. This whole world is sideways. That's the reason why you wanna make sure that you've got more of a forage base from a hay or a grass. If you have it, which we probably won't this year because it's really dry. So that really doesn't apply right now, does it? All right, we're set up. Paint me like one of your French girls, Jack. <laughs>